We have long ceased to be a colony of the United States. Putang ina, mamurahin kita dyan sa forum na yan. It isn't the first time the Philippine president has lashed out in public. Tell that to everybody. Rodrigo Duterte is known for tossing insults at anyone, even the Pope. I just heard about some of this. It isn't America's first time to have found itself exasperated with a populist politician at the helm of a close Asian ally. But this time is different. Before Duterte, there was the Japanese Prime Minister, Shinzo Abe. Early in his tenure, Abe visited the Yasukuni War Shrine in Tokyo, where Japanese war criminals are honored. This enraged China and created enormous headaches for Obama. But while Obama's challenge was to restrain Abe from going overboard in his provocations against China, with Duterte, it's the opposite. It's keeping him from getting too cozy with Beijing. Pivot uh, by the United States. The Philippines is a key part of the U.S. pivot to Asia, aimed at pushing back against Chinese power. And patrol the South China sea. I... Duterte has expressed a desire to restore ties with China since he took office. Manila-Beijing relations went into a deep freeze after his predecessor, Benigno Aquino, took the South China Sea dispute to an international court in The Hague. In August, Duterte sent former President Fidel Ramos to Hong Kong to break the ice with Beijing. To warm up again. Human rights are likely to be an acute and persistent irritant in U.S.-Philippine relations under Duterte. Shoot and shoot him dead. Duterte's violent anti-drug campaign has inspired a wave of vigilante killings. It has claimed more than 2,000 lives of suspected drug dealers and users. We shall not be cowed. And Duterte has made clear it will be relentless. Arrest and prosecution. The Duterte-Obama meeting in Laos was cancelled, but White House officials said the relationship is still rock solid as they warily watch what's next for the controversial leader.